welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy friday it is friday so it is weigh-in day but today is a little bit different because i am actually headed to my very first in person in workshop meeting in months literally over three months they just reopened our ww studios at very limited capacities we actually had to sign up in advance to attend the workshop here in the studio which i did i don't know if i'm going to like it it's going to be odd and different because we have to sit very far apart from each other. There are no weeklies due to paper. You can't bring coffee and you have to weigh in in your shoes. And I also heard that you may not even be able to use the facilities. So I am actually weighing in at home today and then I am going to record that weight into my app. I probably am not weighing in at the WW workshop because I don't want to weigh in in my shoes and in the clothes that I'm wearing out and about today. So it's going to be a little bit different, but I am interested in feeling out the new dynamic of the in-person workshop since the COVID. So that's where I'm headed right now. I will be back to share the topic we discussed, my thoughts on the new version of the in-person workout, and of course, my weigh-in. So happy Friday, friends. the virtual workshop and first things first I want to show you my charm so they had a summer challenge uh, for WW over the last few months if you attended the zoom meetings and if you knew the keyword or the secret word you earned yourself a charm so I got my summer charm today which is super exciting so that was one good thing about going to the workshop was getting my charm I will insert a picture here of what the workshop looked like it was very very different the seats are very spread out you sit kind of an odd areas in the meeting room. I was correct in my assumption that there was no week or no uh, weekly handout because of paper. Weigh-ins were done in your shoes. You had to wear a mask the entire time. I did not try to use the facilities. I noticed that the doors were open, so you may be able to use the facilities. And then the guides do not write your weight in your book. And if you choose to buy anything in the workshop, it is cash only. So it was interesting. If I'm being 100% transparent and completely honest. I didn't enjoy it like I did before. I didn't feel that camaraderie of the workshop as much because you're sitting literally so far away from everybody that it's hard to talk to people. It's just uncomfortable in your mask. They actually would not even let me bring my coffee in, so I had to go back and put that in my car. So for me, although I liked going and seeing my leader in person, I'm not sure that I will continue to go to in-person workshops until things kind of get a little bit more back to normal. So that's my personal opinion. I also chose not to weigh in because of the shoe thing, but I do have my weigh in on my home scale, which has been my scale for the last few months. So that's kind of a rundown of how things went at the workshop today. So yeah, that's my feelings. That's my thoughts. If you have attended a new, the new version of the in-person workshop, leave that down in the comments and let us know what your thoughts are. Maybe you really enjoyed it and you're back to the in-person workshops. But I think for me, I'm going to continue to take advantage of Zoom and see how things go in the future. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic. It was what happens in our bodies when we sleep. Track your sleep. To be mindful of your sleep habits. Using things like your Fitbit is a great way to track your sleep. If you wear it throughout the night, it will tell you how many hours of solid sleep you had, how many hours of restless sleep, and how many hours or minutes that you were awake throughout the night. It's important to know if we're feeling that kind of lethargic feeling every day. Maybe we're not getting enough sleep. Maybe we're not getting high quality sleep. We're not letting our body have the time to rebuild itself overnight. So tracking your sleep, I think is really, really important. So this week at the workshop, WW shared three tips on how to track your sleep and how to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. 
Tracking your sleep is also self-care. It's knowing how we are feeling, how our body is feeling. So grab a cup of coffee in the morning and spend some time really taking a look at your sleep habits. One thing you can do if you don't have a fitness tracker or if you're not wearing your fitness tracker at night, I'll be honest, I very rarely, rarely wear my Fitbit at night. You can log your sleep in the WW app. Log how many hours of sleep you had. You can even put in how you're feeling, how you feel that that night's sleep went for you. How are you feeling the next day? Are you refreshed? Are you still tired? But take a moment when you're having your daily cup of coffee or tea or eating your breakfast or sitting outside enjoying the beautiful bird singing on your patio. Take a moment and track your sleep, whether that be again in your fitness tracker or take advantage of the sleep tracking in the WW app. Also, as part of the sleep tracking portion of the WW app, you can rate on a scale of one to five how you felt about your sleep. You can thumbs up or thumbs down your sleep and you can really take some notes and make some strategic planning for the next night's sleep. If you have the WW app anyways and you're using that to track your food, why not take advantage of the app and track your sleep as well? And also then at the end of the week, you can see a pattern. You can see a pattern in how your sleep was. You can see what notes you took, how you were feeling, because let's be honest, we don't remember how we felt on Monday, on Friday, especially when it comes to our sleep. So really be mindful and honest in your tracking, in your note taking, see a pattern in your sleep. And then that way, you know where you can improve things. And I know that life gets busy. I know things happen. I know right now is an incredibly bizarre and weird time. And sometimes sleep is literally the last thing. It's on the back burner. It's the last thing on our mind. But sleep is so important. For me, I know I don't make good food choices when I'm tired. I am not reaching for veggies. I'm reaching for junk food. And that is a fact. And I know that about myself. I can wake up in the morning from a night of not very good sleep and already know how my eating is going to go that day. So I am very mindful of sleep. I want to make sure I'm getting enough sleep because I know exactly how I'm going to do in my food, how much I'm not going to want to exercise or move that day, even though I'm eating all the extra calories. So I know that sleep is important for me. And I think that sleep is important for just about everybody. So make it a moment of self-care. Make it something you strive for to get enough sleep every night. So now let's take a moment and talk about my week. So as I mentioned in my weigh-in video last week, my mother-in-law passed away last Monday. So not this week, but the week before. So things have just been really busy for us. We finally got the death certificate in the mail yesterday. So we were able to go to her bank, close that out. We picked up the 30 plus boxes of things that she had stored at a friend's house. And our goal tomorrow, Saturday, is to go through all of those items. And now my husband wants to have a yard sale because we literally, you guys, we have so much from her that we don't need. Plus I am doing some refresh of home decor in our house. So honestly, he's right. Having a yard sale makes a lot of sense. It's just a lot of work for me because guess who will be doing most of the yard sale work? In fact, today I am going to go to the Dollar Tree to grab some boards and markers and, you know, the things that the Dollar Tree sells for yard sales. So now I have that on my plate as well. I am going to use my open house signs for real estate to put on the corner. So I'll buy some fun poster board, put that over the top of the open house sign and pop it on the corner. We live out of town a little bit, kind of in the country, so I want to make sure that I'm drawing in enough traffic, figuring out where else I should advertise. So it's just another thing that I have to take care of this next week, in addition to real estate, my nutrition course, YouTube. So keeping busy, though, is good for me because it keeps this away from food. So keeping busy is a good thing for me. It just, it can be overwhelming and a little bit stressful. So I have that going on as well. It is also my very, very favorite time of the month or not. So I'm feeling blah. I'm feeling gross and bloated. It's about day three or four for me. So this is when I really start to feel the worst. So I was dreading even weighing in today because I thought there's no way I'm going to lose weight. Even though I will say I did jazzercise four times this last week, which I am 
so proud of myself. I've been filming this last week as well for a What I Eat in a Week that is coming out on Sunday, so you don't want to miss it. I have lots of fun stuff to share with you guys in this What I Eat in a Week, so stay tuned on Sunday for that. So I've been doing that this whole week, filming that, doing my workouts. Today is a work in the yard day. I need to spray weeds, do some weed whacking around the front part of our house, and also need to respray some insect killer on my rose bush. It had some diseases, so I've been kind of babying my little rose bush out front. So I am going to get in some activity today, even though I'm not going to jazzercise. There's just not a class, unfortunately, today. So my plan is to still get my 10,000 steps today, still have active minutes, helping my husband out in the yard. So I feel good about this last week. I feel good about my eating. I feel good about my activity. I don't feel good about being a girl, but I feel good about everything else this last week. So when I did step on the scale at home today, I actually lost 0.8. So almost an entire pound mid-cycle is amazing for me. So I'm very, very thankful for that. I haven't lost as much each week so far in August that I wanted to or my goal was, but like I mentioned last week, Life has really, really happened this month. So I'm just grateful for a loss in general. I will take it. I'm happy with it. So once my monthly cycle is over here in the next few days, I can really push hard this next week to have a little bit bigger loss and make up a little bit of ground from the first part of August. But I'm doing really well. Mentally, I'm doing really well. I am loving my food that I've been eating. I've been loving having a little bit more freedom with calories and points. And I've been loving being able to go back to jazzercise and see my friends and do the workout in person. I definitely get a much, much better workout that way. So mentally I'm doing really well and I'm grateful, so grateful for that considering everything that's been going on in the last couple weeks in my life. So of course I want to hear from you guys. I want to know how you guys are doing. I know things are still crazy and up in the air and there's a lot of unknowns, but let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? How are you doing overall in general? If you are new, I'd love for you to stick around, hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Thumbs up this video if you love these weigh-ins. I love these little car chats and sharing how my week went with you guys. It's honestly one of my favorite videos to film. So definitely thumbs it up if you love it so that I can continue to put these out every Friday for you. So let's make this next week great. Let's get enough sleep. Let's be mindful and take a little self-care of the sleep for this next week and see if getting good sleep all week helps with next week's weight loss. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I have a fantastic grocery haul coming your way tomorrow and don't forget about the whatnot. I, what I eat in a week coming on Sunday. Grab your coffee, watch my video, talk with me in the comments, and have a wonderful Friday. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, hi.